What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a wireless microphone system, which is extremely versatile, portable, into the quality that's practically unmatched in the wireless microphone space. Today we're looking at the best mic that I would recommend for any vlogger, YouTuber, content creator on the market right now. Furthermore, it doesn't matter what camera you use, whether you shoot on a DSLR, mirrorless, action camera, smartphone. This system is so versatile that it can connect to absolutely any camera system that you're used to, and that's what makes it so special. Today we're looking at the Rode Wireless Go. I do have the white edition, which I just bought. This video is not sponsored. Rode is a company that's based out of Australia and they are well known for their microphones. A lot of YouTubers use shotgun mics from Rode for vlogging and use a lot of Rode products in general to create content. This is actually my second Rode product. The first one that I actually had was this guy over here, which is the Rode Video Mic MEL, which is basically meant for the iPhone. But the only problem with this is the fact that it has a lightning connector and I cannot connect it to my GoPros if I have to actually use it. Without wasting any further time, we're going to take a deep dive into what you get inside the box, do a quick rundown of the specs and also do an audio test for you guys so that you can see how good this microphone system actually is. As you can see, I've already unboxed this product so that I could test it for the last 24 hours. Something that I love is the little case that you get with the product so that you can carry your microphones and your entire setup along everywhere you go. It has a soft inner and it has a Velcro enclosure. Overall, it has very minimal branding. It says road on the side and it's a really small, perfect way to carry your microphones everywhere you go. As there is a transmitter and a receiver and both of them have inbuilt batteries, you get two USB-C charging cables in the box which are really neatly wrapped with these road wraparounds on them. The cable that you're looking at is a TRS cable. It's basically a 3.5mm jack on either side. It helps you connect the receiver to your camera and it doesn't matter what camera you're actually using. It's made really well so it's not going to break on the go. Two wind muffs or dead cats in the color white to match the entire setup that I have. You can connect it on top of your transmitter, on top of the microphone when you're using this system to vlog in windy conditions and this will greatly help you improve your audio when you're out and about. Plus there's some literature that you're probably never going to read. And now for the main event, we have the transmitter and the receiver. We're going to look at the transmitter first. It's always a fun experience unboxing new products. The transmitter, as you can see, basically has two LED indicators on the top, one for battery and one for wireless connectivity. You have a 3.5 mm jack so that you can connect a lav mic on the top. You also have a power button on the bottom, along with a USB-C charging port on the side. Remember, both the transmitter and receiver do have inbuilt batteries. On top, you can see the microphone that is inbuilt on the product. Furthermore, now we're looking at the receiver. The receiver is basically a slightly different whereas it has an LCD screen on the top. It has a power button. It too has a connector for the TRS cable to connect into your camera. Alongside that, you also have your USB-C charging port. You have two buttons on top where you can see one is for your gain, which is indicated by DB. This can be adjusted in three levels, high, medium or low and you also have your wireless connection button on the top. The power button is situated at the bottom of the transmitter and the receiver. Pairing is pretty easy. All you gotta do is press the power button for three seconds and the transmitter and receiver should pair together and connect automatically. That's the best part about this system, how seamlessly it works. It works on a Wi-Fi connection and even if you're in a congested area where you have tons of Wi-Fi connectivity going on, the system has an inbuilt algorithm that will help it shift to another channel to avoid any congestion or drop. As you can see, the Wi-Fi connection is strong and all it takes is three seconds to establish this. Furthermore, the LCD screen on the receiver is going to show you the battery life on both the transmitter as well as the receiver. It's going to show you your Wi-Fi connection status. It's going to show you your decibel value and your gain values. At the back of the transmitter and the receiver, you're going to see that there is a clip. The clip can be used to mount your transmitter and receiver in different locations. The size of the clip also matches the size of a regular hot shoe or cold shoe mount, which is found on any camera tripod system. As you can see, the system does charge over USB-C and is also capable of being charged via a power bank while you're on the go, which basically gives you ample amounts of battery life. The inbuilt battery is supposed to last for seven hours and the Wi-Fi range between the transmitter and the receiver is almost 70 meters. You're probably never going to need that, but it's pretty amazing. It's pretty small, compact and extremely easy to use. I primarily bought this little microphone system so that I could use it with my GoPro and my GoPro is mounted inside the GoPro media mod. Like I'd said, the media mod has cold shoe mounts on it now. The size of the clip on the transmitter and the receiver is identical to the size of a cold shoe mount, making it an extremely compact and versatile vlogging setup. Hopefully this will help me improve the audio in my YouTube videos. As you can see, I tap the microphone on the transmitter and the LCD screen on the receiver is going to show me that the signal is being passed on. Overall, I just have to pin this to my shirt and I'm ready to go. And this is my entire vlogging setup. As you can see, I have the receiver mounted on top of the cold shoe mount in the media mod. It's connected to the media mod using the TRS cable which goes into the audio in jack. On the side, on the second cold shoe mount, I have my vlogging light which has a ton of power to it. Overall, 
it's extremely versatile and extremely portable. I pin the transmitter onto my t-shirt or onto my shirt, my backpack and it's already ready to use. Now to use this you want to power on your GoPro, swipe down, swipe to the right, go to preferences, go to the mods menu, connect the TRS cable into the microphone in port. After that you're going to see a bunch of options. You can use standard mic or powered mic. Even though GoPro recommends using powered mic, I've noticed that most self-powered mics do gain a certain amount of noise if you choose that option. I prefer using standard mic and I see that the system works just right. In case I'm shooting any other kind of video like an interview or a documentary style or I'm sitting down and having a conversation with someone and shoot recording a podcast, I can just hold the transmitter in my hand, pass it around between the few people who are talking while the receiver stays connected to my camera and I can record audio and video at the same time, use the audio and the video or use it as a podcast. You can also use this system if you want to just film on your phone. As you can see, I have my phone on a tripod inside a phone grip mount by Olanzi. I've taken the receiver, used the clip at the back of the receiver, attached it into the tripod mount itself, and now all I have to do is connect the cable, connect the transmitter, and I'm ready to go. Keep in mind, while using the system with your phone, the standard cable that comes has only two O-rings on either connection. This is the TRS cable. This will probably not work with your smartphone. What you need is a cable that has three O-rings on one of the connections, which is known as a TRRS cable. It's called the Rode SC7. What you have to do is you have to insert the gray connector with the three O-rings onto your headphone jack connector that you get with your phone, and then plug that into your smartphone, and this should work just fine. As you can see, the microphone's connected using the mic input, using the TRRS cable. It's clipped onto the back. All I need to do is power on the transmitter and the receiver, and I'm ready to shoot. Next, we're going to jump into an audio test and see how this mic actually performs. Okay, so this is an audio recording test using the GoPro Hero 9 Black with the media mod. I'm using the front facing mic on the media mod. How's the audio? Okay, now we're recording audio off of this little guy here. You could probably hear that little mic tap that I just did. This is the Rode Wireless Go. I've set the gain to minimum because if you have your gain on really, really high, your audio is going to peak and fixing peaked audio is practically impossible in post. So you want to keep your gain to a minimum. How's the audio right now? I've not made any changes during the edit. Okay, so now I'm standing really, really far away from the GoPro. The receiver is on the GoPro there. I'm on the other end of the room. You can see my hand coming off. I'm going to tap the mic to show you that this is original. The mic is still strapped onto my t-shirt. How's the audio? Overall, the range of the transmitter and the receiver is about 70 meters, so the audio should be pretty much unchanged. How's the audio? Let me know. Audio test, one, two. Okay, so that was the audio test that we had to run. We have tested it out with the GoPros. I think it sounds fantastic, much, much better than what the GoPro Media Mod does. Overall, it's a great microphone system and I'm a big fan. It's my new go-to microphone system because of how versatile it is. But there is one drawback to this system, that is the price. The price of this is 18,000 rupees in India, which is insanely expensive. And I know for somebody who is just starting out on YouTube, it's gonna be way too much for you to invest. So you don't need to go in for this system if you're gonna just start out. But if you're at a point where you want to invest big and you want to make a one-time investment, I would definitely suggest that you pick up this microphone because it can work with the next 10 cameras that you buy. It's not going to matter what camera you're going to use in the near future. But if you do want a more budgeted option for audio and you can't afford this microphone, then I would tell you to go in for something like this. This is a shotgun mic. This is the Video Mic Mi L by Rode as well. It's a shotgun mic that connects to your iPhone with the help of the lightning connector that is right here. Now there is a version that connects via USB-C to Android phone, so that's great. So it comes down to what you need, whether you need a wireless microphone system or not. And I genuinely hope that you learned a little something today about audio quality and microphone and you liked this video. If you did, definitely give Give it a thumbs up because it's going to help the channel a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching another episode of Essential Tech. I'm going to see you in the next one. This is Nitin Chavla.